Well, let's speak now to Dove Waxman, who's a professor of Israel Studies at UCLA and joins me now from Los Angeles. Good evening, Dove. Thank you for joining us. Good Thanks so, for having me on. So 11 weeks into protests, we've heard some of the protesters there on the streets. What are the main points that they're calling for? Well, first and foremost, to stop uh, this uh, legislative push that the uh, government has introduced, this uh, so-called judicial reform package. Um, they want to stop that and, and really... Um, ultimately to prevent any sort of change to uh, the Israeli judiciary. But I think they might, some protesters at least, might be willing to accept some kind of compromise. But first and foremost is to freeze this legislative process. And what are their fears about these judicial reforms, especially with, with regard to the Supreme Court? Right. It's important to recognise it's not just about protecting the independence and power of the Supreme Court. I think uh, there's a broader concern here about the future of Israeli democracy, a fear that uh, if you really weaken uh, the Supreme Court and politicise the judicial appointments process, you're uh, basically giving all power to the government and particularly to uh, far right uh, government. And beyond that, there's a concern of uh, really what this government might do with that power. Will it um, further weaken Israeli democracy and will it move Israel towards becoming even a theocracy? Now, is there any sign of the Israeli government budging? Uh, very little. Uh, I think uh, there was an opportunity earlier in the week when President Herzog uh, proposed a kind of compromise package, but the government immediately shot that down. Uh, and I think in many ways, Prime Minister Netanyahu himself might wish to stop this, might wish to find some sort of compromise. But he's really hemmed in uh, by hardliners in his own party and particularly by his uh, coalition partners. In many ways, he can't stop this process. And I think the government is going to continue to try to push through this, uh, this judicial overhaul uh, as quickly as possible. Yes, you talk about the hardliners and Netanyahu's, Netanyahu's government. I mean, how hardline are we talking here? Well, very hard line. In terms of what they would like to do, I mean, not only, as I said, to really uh, introduce more uh, stringent religious laws on Israel's population, but particularly his far-right coalition partners, their grand design is for Israel to formally annex the West Bank um, without giving its Palestinian residents uh, citizenship or equal rights. Uh, so the... Um, Removing the Supreme Court as an obstacle to that plan is really, uh, really a central part of their agenda. So 11 weeks into protests, no sign of budging. So what do you think happens next? Well, unfortunately, I think uh, we're going to see uh, more protests and, and the protests themselves really intensifying in terms of the tactics, disruption and the attempt to kind of really cause massive disruption across the country. One of the um, concerning developments that's happened in the last few days has been counter protesters and assaulting some of these protesters and using violence. So that's something really to, to particularly uh, be on the uh, alert for. And I think the, the broader concern is that if this government does succeed in passing these, uh, these proposals, the Supreme Court itself might um, veto them, might override them, and then Israel will be in an unprecedented constitutional crisis. Well, there's a lot to consider. Dove Waxman, thank you very much for your time. A pleasure. Thank you.